really cool systems. Is this, is this the Stealth? This is the Stealth, yeah. This is the Stealth uh, system connected. Uh, first, every unit comes with the XL system, which is just the two pieces, the compressors outside and all that. With this, noise can be a, a big problem for, for some customers that just, you know, have noise, noise bylaws that uh, just do not allow them to run air conditioners at night. Well, we have the ability to run that AC and have no compressor outside. If you actually can uh, look inside this condenser here, you'll see there is absolutely no compressor. Don't know if you can see just it. A fan. Just a propeller fan, that's it. Um, absolutely no compressor in there. The compressor is actually in this sound deadened box, which will be placed outside. So if you look here on my uh, diagram, you'll see that the, compre the outdoor condenser is there, then the compressor's in the uh, soundproof box inside, just inside the wall. Then you got 40 feet of pipe to go all the way into the air handler. We can extend that to 80 feet. So, and then we obviously have our, this is your fabric duct over here that's evenly distributing the air, through, the cooled air through the grow room. Exactly. And of course, this is your grow space on the side, so there's another picture. Yeah, so this is the picture that I classify every room should be like. You're evenly dispersing the cold air to the far end of the space, and it's sucking all the way back through. This is doing this every, you know, couple minutes. It's beautiful. Right? And that's without a single oscillating fan, no air-cooled lights, no venting of any sort. This is a sealed room. Done. So you guys have um, other components that they can get with, with your Elite, with your Stealth system. You guys have the condensate pumps. Can you explain a little oh, bit yeah. about some of the accessories? That yeah, you we have a lot of accessories. If you come over to the air handler here, first accessory any system is going to want to get, you want to make sure that you have the proper ducting that you can hook up to it. If you get my fabric ductor, you get hard ductor, you get flexible thermal flow ducting. It, it, it all doesn't matter, right? It's all ducting and it disperses the air. This is just for convenience for the best of the best that you can possibly get, right? But the first thing you need is a top plenum. This right here is a top plenum. It is a metal box that goes on, on the top of the unit, screws to the top, and it has a 16 inch hole or 14 or whatever size hole that we require for our unit. And, uh, and so that's the first accessory you're gonna want is a top plenum. Then we get into the fabric ducting. Then we get into luxury additions like this UV air purifier. This UV air purifier right here is for spores, bacteria, mold, powdery mildews, and funguses. So every time the air passes through this air handler, which is every couple minutes, it is actually zapping and killing all that spores and bacteria. So it is absolutely amazing for anybody who wants the cleanest room they can possibly have, which is everybody, right? Um, now, uh, since we're at the air handler, I can actually show you the connection point. So. The way, the way this whole thing works is we're literally, <laughs> we're literally <clears throat> have a pre-charged pipe here with a pre-charged pipe here. All you need to do is get this line to the unit and you connect it by hand, okay? The way that this fitting also works is if you can see here and, and zoom into this fitting right here, this has a little bit of wiggle play, okay? This is a very crucial, important part because when you connect it, this should go on like absolute butter. No, absolutely no Teflon tape, nothing. So if you can see this, still got this little bit of a wiggle in it because of that wiggle we had there. Well, if you're on a little bit of a tension angle, just meaning not cross threading, but just tension angle, this does not tighten. It just does not tighten. But when you wiggle it a little bit, and you just have a nice even, it's be lined up. you know, it's gotta be yeah. super lined up. And once you once you realize that, this thing's just, it's it's easy. That saves some tech support calls right there. It, that, that definitely <laughs> does. I was I really wanted That's to awesome. get that in there. That's awesome. So, so we, um, we have our condensate pump. Yeah, so what's gonna happen here is we have this A coil, and I mean, I guess it's a good point, maybe we can do this. Um, we can actually go through how air conditioning works. Yeah. I mean, the easiest, simplest way that AC works is we're absorbing the heat into the refrigeration coils. So what's happening is we're sucking hot, humid air into this uh, air handler, and as it passes this A coil here, 
This A coil right here has refrigerant inside it. And it is really, really, really cold refrigerant. It loves heat. That's all it loves is heat. And so as the heat passes through this uh, coil, it absorbs the heat into it. So we're not absorbing the CO2, we're not absorbing the you know moisture and all that. We're just taking and zapping the heat out of it. And that heat now is pumped via the compressor through the refrigeration lines all the way to the outdoor section. And now the outdoor section acts like a radiator on a car. So it takes and it blows the air out, the hot air out, and it now is using the, because it's blowing air out, it's sucking air through the coil and through the fins, right? So what it's actually doing is sucking and using the, the 80 degree outside air or, you know, colder, right? Um, and it's actually taking that and absorbing it and taking it out. So we're not actually mixing air from inside to outside, we're just absorbing the heat. And using refrigeration in order to take that heat and transfer it out. Exactly, we're no just... No air exchange. Exactly, exactly. So um, there's also, so now every air conditioning system is a massive dehumidifier, okay? The reason it's a massive dehumidifier is because we have a 15 degree differential between the air coming in and the air going out. Okay, we've got about a 15 to 16, you know, 18 degree differential. So what, what actually happens here is the moisture that is in the air and all the dew points, because obviously the dew points and it, you know, creates condensation. Well, all that condensation runs down the coil and there's a drain pan in the bottom or on the side for horizontal mounting. And so what happens is the water comes out and you want to have this P-trap. This P-trap right here is a very essential piece to the equation because what it's actually doing is it's trapping water in the bottom here so that the air can't suck through it. So a lot of guys will be like, oh, I got a water, the thing's leaking water everywhere. It's because they don't have this primed with water, right? Or they don't have it at all. You know, it's, it's getting a, a, an airlock, right? So you want to make sure you block that air so the water will continue to pour out. Now, you're sucking out about five gallons per ton per day, right? Every 12 hours. So what's happening is you're going to be filling up a lot of buckets. If you had a bucket here, you're going to be dumping that bucket every day. Right? If you're not there for a day, well, now you have a massive flood. <laughs> okay? So to avoid that, we have a condensate pump. This condensate pump right here uh, takes all the water, and it's got a little float valve inside there. So when it gets to a certain level, it pumps the water out, goes into a reservoir, goes in down a drain, wherever they want. Free filtered water. Free filtered water. No chlorine in it. You do your own tests on it. People say you can't use it. People say you use it. I know customers that have used it for decades, so it worked. The Elite is a special breed of its own. Okay. It's the only one that will dehumidify at night. Oh, okay. Yeah, the XL system and the Stealth are the same unit, just one makes noise, one doesn't, right? And they only dehumidify just like every other air conditioner when they're on. But in the off cycle, you don't have the, you don't want to cool a room that has no lights on it with a five ton AC, right? But you need that five ton of cooling, uh, for, of dehumidifying. So we're able to do that dehumidifying. Now, one other thing that we have showing here is our dual room damper package. Okay, so right now, you see the fabric duct all uh, blown up there and evenly dispersed in the air. Well, this is say room one, room A, okay? So we have the five ton running all, you know, all 12 hours and then 12 hours later, it goes and it de-energizes room A and now opens up room two. So you can actually see the damper is opened up Damper. It's a motorized damper ready to go 12 hours on, 12 hours off, you know, and just direct the air to the next thing. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages with everything in this industry, and the biggest thing is, obviously advantage-wise, you do not have to buy a whole nother unit, right? You can literally buy one unit and cool two, you know, 12 hour cycle rooms, only 12 hours at a time. Downside is you can only cool one of those rooms at a time and only 12 hours at a time. So sometimes, especially in hot places like Arizona and Vegas and just you know anywhere for that matter, you, you know in the off cycle, sometimes you got your dehums in there. Well, you have your dehums in there and they're creating heat, and then you need your AC to kick on. 
you don't have that option with a damper package, right? So that is the downside, but uh, there are a lot more upsides to the downsides. So they're for people who need a power-wise or mainly the main customers that need to get dampers because they can't have two ACs potentially be on at one time, right? Um, and then 12 hours later, what we do is we just switch it back over, de-energizes room B, and now inflates room A. Thank you.